Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to append your email lists from Zon Pages directly into your email client. So guys, a few quick examples of email clients would be MailChimp, GetResponse, ActiveCampaign, and Aweber, etc. And these are email marketing platforms that are external to Amazon and they're external to Zon Pages. As we know with Zon Pages email appending service, you can actually build an email list full of potential clients, fans of your brand, and also past clients. When you gather all of your clients' information, like names and their email address for email marketing, Zon Pages will allow you to save this in an email list inside the system. But you can also synchronize this with your external system. And for this video, I'm going to be using MailChimp as the example. So the first thing we need to do is go and actually gather these email addresses and append them. So go over to your toolbar on the left hand side from inside your Zon Page dashboard and simply click email slash phone append. In the body of the page here, you're going to see some older appends that I've done. But for a new append, we have an option at the top of the screen, and the option is to either append all of your clients to one list or append specific clients. Now, if you only sell one product on Amazon, I would recommend appending everyone, but I sell multiple different types of products, so I don't really want to download everyone into one list because then I can't market in a more focused way. If someone purchased product A, they may not be interested in my product B. So why would I send them emails about that when I could send them more email about product A or more relevant products like product A? So in this case, I'm going to append specific clients and the next page is just going to show you some filters so that you can include and exclude some people based on their activity. Some of these filter parameters include how much someone spent, how much someone spent on your products, if they received a discount or not, if they're repeat buyers, you can set the dates between when they were actually active clients, and you can also set date parameters between two dates in which they purchased your products. So you can really drill down and niche down and get some very focused email lists. In this video, I'm not going to bother with any of those filters because I'm more concerned in this example with downloading people based on what product they purchase from me. So when you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you're going to see a list of your products based on their ASIN. So I'm going to add a few of these to the filter. And I'm going to set my product selection date between January 1st and the end of this month, which is August 31st, 2017. And the final thing you need to do is click on Filter Clients. Perfect. So as you can see, there's about 55 clients who have purchased those exact ASINs from me this year. You have a choice then to append their email addresses. Scrolling down the page slightly, you'll see that there is somewhere to store these emails. Under the Email Storage tab, simply click the down arrow. And all of these lists are my current list or my older lists that I use for different products. When I scroll down to the bottom, I can simply click on New Email List. And that will allow me to create a brand new list. So what I'm going to name this list for the purpose of the video is Brand New List. Product A. Purchasers. I would add this level of detail in your list names if you're going to be appending a lot of lists for a lot of different products. Simply click on Create New Client List and then click on Append. So as you can see on the top of the next page, an append job has been created for those 55 clients and they're going to go into that email list. In order to synchronize that brand new email list that we've created with our MailChimp account, I just need to go over to the left hand side and in the menu you'll see Email Lists. Down the bottom, you'll see the most recent list we just created, which is brand new list, Product A Purchasers. You can click on View to go in and see who's in that list, although nobody's in it at the moment as the job has just started. We can delete the list, or what we want to do in today's video is synchronize this list with our MailChimp account. So simply click on Sync. As I mentioned a few different email clients earlier, you can see some on screen. You can synchronize with MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, GetResponse, Aweber, or synchronize with a webhook. The final option, which is a really important one as well, if you like to work this way, you can actually export all of these clients to Microsoft Excel. So let's synchronize with our MailChimp account. All I have to do is click on Setup API Key. Simply, it's just going to ask for my MailChimp API Key. 
So a few of you might be asking right now, where do we get this API key? And it is, of course, from inside your MailChimp account. So I'm going to quickly jump over to my MailChimp dashboard, which is the sign-in page that everyone is familiar with once you set up a MailChimp account. And over on the top right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a button with a drop-down, and you simply need to go to your own profile. So click on Profile. Here you'll be able to make changes to your account and all of that kind of stuff, but what we're looking to do is create a new API key for this email list. And you'll find that under the Extras tab. So click Extras. You'll see here the second option in the middle is API Keys. Click on API Keys. Now if you have a brand new MailChimp account, you're not going to see the number of API Keys I have. I currently have a lot of different API Keys set up for a lot of different integrations with different softwares for different reasons. So what you'll need to do is simply go to the bottom of the page and click on create a key. So you'll be creating a brand new key for yourself. Now that just happens automatically. And as you can see, once I click that, at the top of the page, you'll see that there is a new API key ready to use. And if you look down here, you'll see that this is the most recent one, just did it a moment ago, and here is the key. So simply click on the key, copy the whole thing, jump straight back to Zon Pages, and paste it in there. As soon as I click on save API key, your MailChimp account will now be synchronized with your Zon Page account for that email list. And if you ever change email client or move from MailChimp to another, you can simply click on disconnect and set it up again from your email list page. So everyone, I hope that was of some use to you and I hope it solved the mystery between syncing your ZonPages account with your MailChimp account. I will place some more ZonPage tutorials on screen at the end of the video and I'll also link to them in the description. The first link you'll see in the description below is a link to ZonPages itself. And I do highly recommend going over to Zon Pages to check it out for yourself and sign up for an account. Thank you guys so much for watching this far with me and stay tuned for the next tutorial.